In this work, we are interested in the setting of embodied question answering, or EQA. Imagine a robot is placed at a random location on the floor with no prior knowledge about the scene and being asked, which item is left on the armchair next to the bedroom dresser? To answer such question about the unknown environment, the robot needs to explore relevant regions of the scene and stop to answer the question when it is confident. Collectively, we refer to these two objectives as efficient exploration. In this work, we propose Explore Until Confident, which achieves efficient exploration for a robot completing EQA tasks in both simulation and also in real scenarios. Here, the robot is asked, which is the dishwasher in the kitchen open or closed? And it answers open correctly after it sees the dishwasher after a few steps. When EQA tasks were first introduced, a navigation policy and a question answering module are trained from scratch, which can be data inefficient and can only handle simple and structural questions such as what is the color of the sofa. In this work, we are interested in leveraging the rich prior knowledge from pre-trained vision language models, VOMs, for EQA tasks without additional training. VOMs have achieved impressive performance in answering complex questions about static 2D images. For example, here it is able to recognize that the TV only seen from an angle and from some distance is turned off since the screen is dark. And we hypothesized that VOMs can also reason about relevant regions to explore given views of the scene. For example, here, we asked the VOM where is likely the sofa given the same image, and it is able to reason about possible location of the sofa by seeing the coffee table in the view. However, we identified two key challenges of using pre-trained VOMs for EQA, and we addressed them in this work. The first challenge is that for better exploration, Robots should track previously explored regions and also ones that have not been explored but are relevant for answering the question. However, VOMs do not have an internal memory for mapping the scene and storing such semantic information from previous views. Our solution for the first challenge is to build a map of the scene external to the VOM where the depth images are fused together into 3D using truncated sine distance function fusion and then the 3D map is projected into 2D. Such map stores information about where in the scene is unoccupied or hasn't been explored by the robot yet. On top of that, we propose VOM-based semantic mapping to leverage prior knowledge of the VOM to guide the robot exploring semantically relevant regions. For example, here, the robot sees this view and we annotate the image at a location where there are free of obstacles. The question is, is the outdoor grill covered? And we ask the VOM which direction indicated by the black letters on the image would you explore them? Answer was a single letter. And then we look at the probabilities of VOM predicting A, B, or C, representing the VOM's preference for exploring these locations. We call this the local semantic value, which compares the local locations within this current view. Meanwhile, we also prompt the model to give a global measurement of how relevant the whole image is. For the same EQ8 question, is the outdoor grill covered? We asked the VOM, is there any direction shown in the image worth exploring? Answer was yes or no. And look at the probability of the model predicting yes. And we treat this as a global semantic value. Now, suppose at step three, we obtain LSV and GSV for the same question is the outdoor grill covered? Notice that the GSV is only 0.012, meaning the VOM thinks the directions shown in this image are generally not worth exploring. We combine the LSV and GSV and store the overall semantic value into a 2D map, and we call this map a semantic map, encoding where the VOM deems exploring for answering the question. Later at step five, the VOM thinks the direction leading to the balcony door annotated with letter C is worth exploring. We also store the overall semantic value in the map. For determining where to navigate to at step six, we identify frontiers 
which are locations between explore space and the space that have not been explored yet. The next frontier is then sampled with weights based on the semantic values. In the experiments, we evaluate the success rate achieved by different methods using different number of time steps. The plot shows that our method, which combines VOM semantics and frontier-based exploration, improves efficiency compared to FBE, which is frontier-based exploration without semantic value weighting, and also clip FBE, which instead uses clip value scores as a semantic value. We also find uh, both GSV and LSV are critical to improve the efficiency in the ablation study. This is the overall pipeline so far. Given the current view and the question, we prompt the VON to generate the semantic values, which are stored in the semantic map. Semantic value weighted planner determines the next pose, and the robot obtains the next observation. However, the robot still needs to decide when to stop exploration. To gauge the confidence of the VON about answering the question given the current view, for example, for the same question, is the outdoor grill covered? We ask the VON if it is confident about answering the question given the current view. Answer was yes or no. And then look at the probability of the VON predicting yes, and we consider it the question image relevance score. A simple strategy would be to apply a threshold. For example, if the score is higher than 0.5, the robot stops exploration and answers the question. However, these raw values can be unreliable due to miscalibration, which is a second challenge of using pre-trained VOMs for EQA without additional training. Current VOMs are fine-tuned based on pre-trained large language models, LLMs, which can be miscalibrated often being underconfident or overconfident. To address this issue, we leverage multi-stack conformal prediction to rigorously quantify the model's uncertainty about question answering. Given the current view in the question, we obtain both the answer prediction, which are probability of the model predicting each of the options, and also the question image relevance score. With conformal prediction, we generate prediction set, which includes the possible answers that the model believes. This set is determined using a threshold from calibration, which looks at exploration and the question answering results in a set of calibration scenarios. We apply a strategy that we keep the intersection of the prediction set so far over steps, and the robot stops when the set is reduced to a single answer. Multi step conform prediction provides a coverage guarantee that the remaining answer is guaranteed to be correct with high probability. Conform prediction also minimizes the set size so the robot can stop more quickly while maintaining the coverage guarantee. For evaluating the stop efficiency, we compare our methods with entropy and the relevance baselines, which use raw softmax scores from the VOM without calibration for the stopping criteria. For all methods, we vary the threshold used for the stopping criteria and look at the success rate achieved versus the number of time steps needed. The tighter the threshold is, the more time steps each method takes, and also higher the success rate. We find our method that calibrates the VOM confidence using conformal prediction improves efficiency, especially when we like the system to achieve high success rate. For our experiments, we also curate a new EQA dataset called HMEQA that contains 500 questions based on 267 things from the Habitat Metaport 3D dataset. We consider five categories of questions. Identification that asks about the type of object. For example, which rug did I put next to the kitchen sink? Counting that asks about the number of some object. For example, how many bedside tables are there in the bedroom with the white bedding? Existence that asks about whether some object is there. For example, I'm going to shower now. I need to grab some towels. State that asks about some state of the object. For example, is the lamp next to a sofa turned down? And lastly, location that asks about the location of some object. For example, I remember leaving some books in one of the rooms on the wooden shelves. Next, 
we look at some simulated scenarios in the habitat simulator. In this scenario, the question is, which rock did I put next to a kitchen sink? On the right is the initial view of the robot camera. The bottom left shows the cemented map with the cemented values from this initial view. Now the robot starts moving, and now it stops and gives the final answer, A, uh, there's no rock. In this scenario, the question is, is the lamp next to the sofa turned on? After a few steps, the robot sees the lamp next to a sofa and answers yes correctly. Compared to baselines FBE and cliff FBE, our method uses fewer time steps before reaching relevant location for answering the questions. Lastly, we deploy the system on a fully autonomous fetch robot in real scenarios. Here the question is, which kind of stools are under the whiteboard? You may notice that the robot head is constantly tilting when the robot is moving. The tilting motion is from a running ROS navigation package. For planning and question answering, we only use images taken when the robot fully stops at each location. Both our method and entropy baseline stops the robot at step 6 and answer the question correctly after the robot sees the lime green stools, while relevant baseline takes more step. Here the question is, is there something here that I cook my cookie dough in? This time, entropy baseline immediately stops the robot and answers the question wrong. Both our method and entropy baseline uh, wait a little bit longer and answer the question correctly after the robot sees the oven in the kitchen. For more details and experiment videos, please check our website, explore-eqa.github.io. Thank you.